Welcome to today's broadcast of the championship game of the Big Pumpkin, Minnetonka and Stillwater. The two seed versus the five seed. In what will amount to be a epic game, it'll be either a team with their first ever pumpkin or a team with their second pumpkin in a row, the first team ever to repeat. Last year, Tonka won it as a nine seed. And this year, they're coming for a repeat. Skippers and Ponies coming up after the break. We will do the starting lineups and a national anthem. And during the anthem, we'll go to a break and come back and drop the puck. I'm Tony Scott, live from Rochester. YHH founder and publisher. Bringing you today's game. This is the 11th Big Pumpkin. Our first ever was in Bloomington in 2013. Here are your starting lineups. Brought to you by Lots of Matzo Pizza. Now let's meet the small black teammates after the starting lineups. First, for the visitors from the top five. Starting at goal number 39. specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotsa Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotsa Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. I think anytime you're beginning a season or beginning a new sport uh, where maybe you haven't been as well conditioned uh, as you know later in the season or near the end of the year, that's when you're going to be most prone to overuse types of injuries. That's going to be you know sprains and strains and tendonitis and stress fractures. And so I think it's most important to, to kind of slowly uh, ramp up into an activity and build your volume in a stepwise way instead of jumping in all at once. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotsa Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotsa Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. I think anytime you're beginning a season or beginning a new sport uh, where maybe you haven't been as well conditioned uh, as you know later in the season or near the end of the year, that's when you're going to be most prone to overuse types of injuries. That's going to be you know sprains and strains and tendonitis and stress fractures. And so I think it's most important to, to kind of slowly uh, ramp up into an activity and build your volume in a stepwise way instead of jumping in all at once. All right, 
anthem is played. Time for some hockey. Tonka. And Stillwater, Vanek. This is Luca. Goes into the corner, picks it up. Feeds it back to the point. A Beldy shot on, kicked by Doing. And whiffing on it just there, cutting through. Quick shot, nice hands by. Oh, wow, what a save. By Bjork. And what a move there by Dean Stevens. I knew this was gonna come out fast. Holy smokes. That was not Beldy on the shot, that was Pearl. They announced Beldy and Bjornley to start, but they switched it up after the starting lineup. Here comes Burke. Burke, head up. Quick play, feeding in the front, poked away by Corona. Shot by Vanek, gets off a stick, deflects into the glass. Here comes Tonka back, doing. Both teams really fired up right now. You can just see how fast they're coming out of the shoot. Beldy gets it in the zone. Stevens gets it on the turnover. He'll bring it out. He's poked off the puck. He flips one toward Stinson. Now here comes Bjornley back. Bjornley shot blocked. That hits Penhollow in the side of the ankle. Back to the point, quick pass to Jaxdorf. Jaxdorf has had a great tournament for the Ponies. Stinson weaves through a couple ponies, loses it. Now Dorf back the other way. In the skates of Stinson, picking up his Tuzignat. What good hands. By Braylon. He feeds one up, that's intercepted by Rankin. Hicks, hooked off the puck, gets it back to Dorf. Dorf picks it up. Dorf will come in two on two with Vanek. That shot hits off choosing on stick, I mean shin pad. I think we got a net off moorings, yes we do. And the whistle, 11.45 to go here in period one. No score between the Ponies and the Skippers. Live here from Graham Arena in Rochester, Minnesota, home of the Mayo Clinic. Thanks for joining us. Good crowd on hand here. A lot of Rochester kids here watching. They know they're gonna watch two of the best teams in the state in Pee Wee Double A hockey. Will Hicks with it. Ware cuts it off. Down to Schultz, Festy. In the corner for the skippers. Taken away, here comes Ness. Rink wide feed to Zerbus. Zerbus enters the zone. Quick snapshot, hits some traffic. Krona with a save. And hopping on it is Ness, but he got defended nicely by the Skippers. Back to the point. Holding it in nicely. Mueller. This one hops the stick of Pearl. Good hands there. Here comes Mueller back. Comes in on his backhand side. He'll dump it low. And either regroup himself back to the blue line. Just in time, nice play, heads up play. He must have known that was, known that was coming. Now a chance, Vanek slides it across. One timer, Landon Burke, and it's one nothing Stillwater with 10.35 to go. What a feed by Luca Vanek right on the tape of Landon Burke. Holy smokes, this is a lot of fun. Wow, I'm sitting here looking at the leading scorers. I'm, how am I gonna pick an all tournament team out of these nine forwards? It's amazing how much talent up front both of these teams have. Good feed in front, Burke! Shot by O'Shea, blocker save, Corona. 
O'Shea's got some space shot. Nothing Corona could do about that. Just a perfect pass by Luca Vanek. The Vanek's are known for sniping. That's just like it's Austrian for goal. And he hit a pretty tape to tape pass to Burke on that one. Burke finds Vanek again. Now he cuts in to his backhand. Steers one toward the net wide. Rankin into the zone. Bringing it out now is doing. Leighton's like, hey, my turn now. Watch this. He'll go in one on three or four. And Rankin tries to touch it. Clearly didn't get an icing on the ponies. one nothing in favor of Stillwater. 9.24 to go here in the first period. I'm Tony Scott. Thanks for tuning in to this afternoon's broadcast brought to you by Lots and Matza Pizza and Summit Orthopedic. Rankin finds Caden Vanek. Uh-oh. Corona makes the save. Back to the point, wrist shot. That hits a stick. Shot was by Beldy. He holds the zone. Rankin flips it. Down low. Penhollow and Vanek just sparing no expense to their body there. Just flying in there. Bjornley, good pass. Beldy down low, good puck movement. Caden Vanek gets his pocket pick there at the last second. Now Cuchamilio comes in. Bjork decides to revert into his net instead of coming out, makes the save. Cuchamilo with a nice shot. Another shot, that one goes just wide. That's Breen. And the skipper's now playing a little bit more with more pace. If you need pace, get yourself a Hoffman. Henry Hoffman, that kid plays with pace. Sometimes too much pace if there's such a thing. But man, he plays hard. Breen holds it. Flipped up to Ware. Now Ozzy chases it down. Hicks scoops it up. Now Ness. Held in by Schultz. Caleb Schultz gets it into the zone. Now will see if these ponies can break it out. They do. This Hughes Fleming. He'll cross the line. He'll take a quick snapshot. Corona makes the save with 7.28. What a pace to this game. Fast. Fast, fast game. Both these teams were really, really fast out of the shoot in their first two games in the quarters and semis that we were lucky enough to break. A shot, goal! That one popped loose. Ness scored yesterday in the quarters early. He does it again here, and the Ponies lead Back gets an assist. And Fleming gets an assist. And it's 2 0. I expected no less from either of these teams not to just come out hard. Here comes Vanek. That's hard to defend. Vanek shot. Oh, that goes just wide. Oh, Lord, was that close to going in? Back to the point. Good play by Pearl. Another good pass. Really unselfish start for the Ponies. Here comes Stevens. Crosses the line. 
Fakes it, holds it. Quick shot. That hits Mueller in the protective equipment, we'll call it. Fires this one across, Aldrich. Feeds one down low. Back to the point. Quick shot, that one hits a shin pad, goes into the corner. They battle for it. Now Vanek rips one out. That hits off Burke's stick, icing waved. Now Aldrich, puck gets up on its edge and takes a funny angle into the corner. Nice play there by Stinson. Here comes Hoffman. Hoffman races after it. Back to the point, Penhollow. He rips one, oh, deflected! That's Stinson. And he high sticked that one right on goal. I think if the puck high sticks and then hits the goaltender, it's automatically blown dead. And that definitely happened on that one. Face off now to the glove hand side of Corona. Bjornley into his own zone. Slips it back to Beldy. Beldy takes a look up to back to Bjornley. Now a long feed. This is going to be Caden. Vanek, he can't catch up to it. Penhollow, center feed, somehow makes its way into Stevens. Excuse me, Stinson, his shot. Ski jumps off the stick of Belly into the netting, and we get a whistle with 5.09 to go here. In the first period. That good save by Bjork. This one comes out. And they dump it in. Back to the point. Picked up by Tuzinot in the far corner. He finds Festy. Nice play by Braylon there. They cross the red line, dump it in. And here come the skippers on a fresh chain. Nice play by Schultz. Got no support. But it does tie it up long enough where it could turn into a four check. No, it does not. Sness gets it. Now he ices it. And Stillwater will have the puck in their zone. Or a face off the glove hand side of Oliver Bjork. Vanek can't get it. Doing gets it toward the net. Now Stevens after it. Ooh, we're gonna get a penalty on Mueller for a hook or a hold. He got a good, got his claws in. We'll trip on. He got a nice little trip there. On Stevens and now 90 second, 90 second penalty. Yesterday against Asimov Grove, the skippers were able to score. Oh, wow, Nash had that thing. He had a lot of nylon and just fanned on it. Um, they were able to score two of their four goals on the power play yesterday on one of the top goalies in the state, Renner Anderson. Aldrich finds Stevens. Stevens looking for the short side high, which oftentimes means the puck's coming out of the zone. Now Aldrich on the top of the umbrella. Finds Nash, Nash back door. Bolt Bjork's there, pops out for the high slot. And slowing it down is Aldrich. Aldrich 
Shot in by Stevens. Stevens playing the, uh, the flank on this power play. Here's Dewing. Back to the point, Aldrich. Aldrich walks it in. Holds it. Now Dewing. Aldrich at the top, 28 on the power play. They make a move, Nash, shot. Tries to look, he kind of looked like on the long side and went short side with it. Stevens to Aldrich. Aldrich walks it in to Nash. Nash don't move, right in front, shot. That was Stinson in front, couldn't get a stick on it, just fanned on it. Chips down low, Nash. You hear Cooper Corona, back door. Oh. Dewing didn't get any lumber on it, but he knew he had a chance. Dewing gets a late, late last-ditch effort in front. Couple of really good chances for the skippers on this power play. Oh, good puck movement, Nash again. He sees something on that short side that I clearly can't see, and I'm standing right on the right angle. But shooters are gonna shoot. Vanek, oh, she was through the legs. What a play, and couldn't quite execute it. Now where? Long outlet feed to Stevens. A lot of puck possession for the skippers the last two minutes of this period. Stevens again, good toe drag, goes through to D, holds on to it. Now he'll bring it all the way back out. I don't think he planned to do that, but good hustle there by Dorf. Jack Dorf picks the pocket of the defender and rips it past Corona. And Stillwater takes a 3 0 lead. Holy smokes! Nobody told Jack Dorf you could do that, and he did it anyway. What a play. The fact that he stole the puck was amazing and then just ripped it. This kid has been on absolute fire today, or this whole weekend. Big goal after big goal. Now Ware back. They're down three. Minutes to go in the first. Ware, shot, goal. Yeah, baby, that's what he says. We're not done. We are not done here. Ware just stopped at the top of the slot and fired it home past Bjork, and it's 3-1 with 106 to go. Holy smokes. What a fun first period for an announcer. That's Ware's first goal in the bracket play. Now Pearl to Fleming. That one hits the skate Ness. Now Schultz to Ware. Franks pops it in, cuts it loose. This will come all the way out to neutral. Pearl. Mueller falls down. Schultz, quick shot. And a blocker saved by Bjork. Mueller gets back up. 11 seconds to go in the period. Eggert gets one toward the net. They sweep it out. That should do it. Icing wave. That'll do it for the first period. 3-1 Stillwater. We'll be back, in, back here in Rochester in just a minute. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matzah Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. 
I think anytime you're beginning a season or beginning a new sport uh, where maybe you haven't been as well conditioned uh, as you know later in the season or near the end of the year, that's when you're going to be most prone to overuse types of injuries. That's going to be you know sprains and strains and tendonitis and stress fractures. And so I think it's most important to, to kind of slowly uh, ramp up into an activity and build your volume in a stepwise way instead of jumping in all at once. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. From Rochester, a PG-13 word there heard by our audience. I apologize. Oh, I was muted. Wow. Wow. My guy, Justin Moss, deserves a raise. He deserves a raise. That's incredible work there. Aldrich behind the net. Find Stevens. Stevens down a couple goals. He might see a little bit more ice time than he's used to. Shot on and a save by Bjork. Taka needs that next goal. Even some things out here. Taka going for that repeat. Thomas Vanek going for his first pumpkin. He was in the championship game in 2019 with his older son Blake now he's got his twins Caden and Luca here in the title game I think it's all coaching it's got to be Caden fires one on Corona grabs it and covers Face off to Corona's left. Battle along the wall. Hicks pokes his head in there from the blue line. Dorf has got his stick in there. There is a host of players down there and Tuzignot comes out with it. He gets thrown to the ice. No call. Back the other way. Hoffman leans in, goes shoulder to shoulder with Hicks. Hoffman tries to lift it up to the short side. Can't. Blocked by Bjork. Stints a nice pass. Penhollow can't control it. Now back Caden Vanek. He cuts in, looks for Dorf, finds Rankin. Rankin takes a quick slapper. Didn't get all of it. Blocker saved by Corona. Now Dorf, quick little flip shot. And Vanek couldn't get a stick on it. Mueller shot wide. Now Dorf. Control it, flip it out. This one's gonna go all the way down. Oh. That was going on net, I believe. It was darn close. Now a long stretch pass intercepted there by Breen. Breen tries to find Ware. Hits him in the skate instead of stick. Franks holds the zone. Ware pops it to it. Wanted to go to his forehand. Fumbled it. Now back the other way. Here comes Ness. Ness. Fires one, that hits the skate of Franks. Franks, wheels. It's down low now. Long breakout, picked up by Bjornley. Bjornley rips a wrist shot. 
And Corona makes the save. Base off to the right of Corona. Now Doing will come out with it. Oh, excuse me. Breathing it in front, that's not Doing. Looked like him. And that's Colton Nash. Nash and Doing have a very similar skating style, hair, everything. Both lefties. Doing's a little taller. Both got a little tuck going on their jerseys, too. Back to the point. Eggert can't control it. Held down by Nash. Long pass. Feeding in front. Good pass there by Aldrich to a wide open player. Bjornley just deked himself out and hit the ice. Shot down. A lot of chaos out there right now. Both teams know how important that next goal is. They're taking some risks. Even Stillwater's taking some chances. They're jumping in the play. They're making plays. They're playing at a really fast pace. Probably the fastest pace they've played all season long to this point. Here's Stevens. Stevens, what a competitor! He feeds it. He thought Doing was there. Doing snuck in behind him, not diagonally from him. Now here comes Burke. Burke got the all white tape, I love it. Almost looks like it's not taped at all. Burke, battling, a lot of bodies flying around, no calls, thank you very much. Back to the point, wrist shot, that one goes diagonally into the corner. Hicks has to back out, Stevens, she's gotta guard him. That opens up the blue line for an easier breakout. Yes, and Stevens is definitely suck a little bit. Skippers need a goal. Both teams know it. You can kind of feel the tension here in the rink. Tuzignat, down low, battling. Dorf, more fight there. Tuzignat tries to pick it up. Nice play, Penhollow. Out to neutral. That one slides past Earlbeck. He'll go into his own corner now. That one finds the stick nicely. Earlbeck to Vanek. He'll take it wide on Penhollow. That's two big peewees right there. And a lot of skill on top of that. Penhollow slips it through. Vanek in front, rebound, pipe, and in. And guess who? Jax Dorf again, his second of the day. The kid has got a nose for the net, let me tell you. Holy smokes. That's at least his fourth goal of the tournament. I got been keeping track of bracket play and he's got four in bracket play. I didn't see what he had in the first, but it's 4-1. Stillwater. Steered into the corner. And here's Ware. He's got the lone goal for the skippers today. Picked up by Ware again. Nice deep. Cuts in. Shot. It's like he's taking matters into his own hands right now. 
That's good thing and bad thing. You want some initiative, some passion, some drive, but sharing the puck and making plays is still important. And if the whole team starts doing that, that's like digging your own grave. Do we get a goalie change? We get a goalie change here. Halfway through, Hudson Reinhardt in the game. I don't like that choice. Now Vanek, holy smokes, here he comes. Feeds it across. Now doing quick shot, that goes high over the net. And Stevens feeds one on net, and then Reinhardt covers up for his first save. Final score from Lambeau Field. Your Minnesota Vikings defeat the Green Bay Packers 24 to 10. There's Bjornley to Burke. Burke to Vanek with a shot. And Corona saves it but didn't have it secured. Finally covers with 6.30 to go. Dorf has five goals and three assists. Yes, and he is now the leading scorer for your Stillwater Ponies. <laughs> Coming into the game, it was Luka Vanek with two goals and four assists. And Luka added another pretty assist to his total. He's at seven points. And Burke's got six goals and one assist for the tournament. Burke fires it in. Burke, nice play. Finds O'Shea stick. Now Bjornley holds it in the zone. That hits the skate. Now cutting in is Burke. Nice feed, O'Shea. Fires it high. Back the other way. Here comes Stinson. Stinson shots high. Penhollow holds the zone. And clearing it all the way down is Vanek with 5.18 to go here in the second period. Ponies with a comfortable 4-1 lead. In the zone is Dorf. His little spinorama. And Vanek after it. Talked to Coach Vanek before the game and said, confirmed if they were identical twins or not. I find their game to be very identical, the way they play hockey. And I will say they do not look identical and said, confirm they are not identical twins. I think it's cool that they play the game so well. There's one of them offside, Caden. <laughs> Caden there and felt that his shift length was a little short. 
Gave the old shoulder shrug, like, I just got out there. Now he's yelling at Dad, literally yelling at Dad or something. Dad and he are, we'll just say they're having a discussion with one another. Love it. Love it. Having three kids of my own, I, I see it. I see it, and I've seen it before. I'll just say that. Here comes Stevens. Comes through. There's a little pull drag. Defender falls down. So do Dewing and Pearl. Shot goal. Wow, Eggert just rips one past Reinhardt through a bunch of traffic, and it's 4-2. Don't go away yet. Michael Eggert gets on the board for the Skippers. Now we're back to that next goal, super important, because if Minnetonka scores again, guess who's got all the momentum? Like the road is flat right now. It's flat. Minnetonka scores, it's gonna start looking downhill. Here's Burke into O'Shea. Back to Nash. Nash to Aldrich. Stevens looking to go deep, gets it back. Stevens, good pass. Finds doing, leans in, shot. Goes through the crease and right onto the stick of O'Shea. O'Shea looking for Vanek. Now Burke's got some space. Shot, that one goes wide. Such good goaltending in these tournaments. It's hard just to get an easy one. That comes doing. Doing. Pushes. And I think we're going to get Vanek. Yes, Vanek. On a hook. And the very good power play for the Minnetonka Skippers will trot. They'll trot onto the ice. Kind of hard to trot. It would be more of a glide. They glide on the ice. They take the ice. It's Stevens doing Stinson Aldrich. I'm guessing that's Nash. Yes, that's Nash. Colton Nash. And right back to the point. Here's Aldrich. Perfect feed to Stevens. Doing. Stevens rips. Good blocker saved by Reinhardt. Stinson, oof, a near trip there on Bjornley. That would have been costly. Stinson, now doing, doing, looking, yeah. Those kids just love that darn short side high. They just love it. And there's Reinhardt with the glove saying thank you. 58 on the power play for the Skippers. They win it. Back to Aldrich. He'll set up on the umbrella. Find Stevens. Stevens, what a competitor this kid is. He's got a high compete level. Goal! Reinhardt grabs it, can't get it. Doing sneaks in and shovels it home, and it's 4-3. Leighton Doing. That's a lot of points for Leighton Doing. He has now five goals and three assists. Second on the team in scoring. And it's 4-3. Skippers. I mean, ponies. The Minnetonka power play is a known commodity. Here comes Hoffman, streaking in, stops, wheels, looking for Stinson in front. Now Hoffman again, got some options. He's gonna try to get rid of it. Tuzing not holds the zone, good play. Penhalo looking back door, Kuchimilo. And Tuzing not great hold in there, right on the Tight rope of that blue line. Cuchamilo. 
That's a light, slight little body check, no call. Shot in, nice blocker save. Urbis, Robeck, excuse me. Got it, slips it into the zone. One minute to go. Here comes Penhollow. He leans to his back end, he's cut off. He, <laughs> he ends up getting it back and fires one right on net and saving it is Reinhardt. It's 4-3. 48 to go here in period two. We'll announce our all tournament team. And tourney MVP. This one goes off the glass. Ware will battle with Mueller. And here comes Fleming. Ness holds the zone. Back the other way comes Festy. Festy gets his pocket picked by Zervis. Zervis will bring it back. Cut in, leans down. Now he's got some space. Fleming shot, that hits a skate and goes into the corner with six to go in the period. And that should do it for the third, second period. We'll see in just a minute after a word from our sponsor, 4-3 Stillwater over Tonka. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. I think anytime you're beginning a season or beginning a new sport uh, where maybe you haven't been as well conditioned uh, as you know later in the season or near the end of the year, that's when you're going to be most prone to overuse types of injuries. That's going to be you know sprains and strains and tendonitis and stress fractures. And so I think it's most important to, to kind of slowly uh, ramp up into an activity and build your volume in a stepwise way instead of jumping in all at once. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. I think anytime you're beginning a season or beginning a new sport uh, where maybe you haven't been as well conditioned uh, as you know later in the season or near the end of the year, that's when you're going to be most prone to overuse types of injuries. That's what Here we go. 77th game. Two periods done. One period to go. Maybe more. Who knows? We're gonna get a penalty in front. I think it's gonna be on Aldrich. For interference, maybe? Or is doing for interference. Somebody was interfering. There was some wrongdoing in front of the net too, no pun intended, but it wasn't doing, he was back in the corner. That was Burke. He was cut off. Beldy finds Vanek. Fires. That was going in the net. Big save by Cooper Corona there. Poking it out is Nash. Nash and Beldy will be one on one. Nash, quick shot. That hits a stick of Beldy. Goes into the corner. And Bjornley breaks up the pin attempt by Nash. 
They rim it around. Here comes Bjornley, deflected by Aldrich. And flipping it in is Aldrich, good play. 43 to go on the power play. This is Vanek. Luka Vanek. Stops, holds it. Nice little dangle there. Holds it some more. Feeds it in front. Bjornley, shot in the goal! What a snipe! By Lucas Bjornley. Bar down! And it's 5-3. And the Stillwater power play strikes. For Bjornley, that's his second goal, sixth point. And they lead 5-3. I have a sneaking, sneaking suspicion that's not the last goal we'll see in the hockey game. And they've been some fantastic goals. And we haven't seen one from Dean Stevens yet, which is almost like a birthright for that young man. Dorf goes down. Here's Penhollow. Penhollow clears one. I think that's gonna be an icing, it is. 11.50 in the game. Through the crease, Corona tips it out. Holding on to his Fleming. Flipping one just wide is Mueller. Now Zerbis. That's Pearl, gets it deep. Henry Zerbis fighting for it down low. And Ness gets it deep. Good penetration there by the Ponies. Pearl, Fesky, plays it clear. Now here comes Fleming in. Two on three, Fleming pumped off the puck. Here comes Eggert, one on four, one on five. Bjornley can't get it. He gets past doing. Good hustle there by O'Shea. Nash battles for it, 10-19 to go. And it's Aldrich firing. Hits a skate, goes into the corner. Good play back. Now it's flipped in the air. Burke, one on one with Aldrich. Burke cuts high, fires, and a glove save by Corona with 9.58 to go. That goes into the corner. Now Hoffman fires it through some skates. Back to Penhollow. Nice move. Cuts in. Shot. Save by Reinhardt. 5 3. Shots on goal 23 20 in favor of Stillwater. Leading scores 
heading into the tournament with Dean Stevens, Leighton Dewing, and Max Aldrich. Oh, we got a penalty on Rankin. Did not see that for a slash. A little after the whistle shenanigans there from Crosby Rankin, and that puts Minnetonka on the power play. Nash feeds it across to Stevens, Stevens to Aldrich. Aldrich, shot by Stevens, poked up, back to Aldrich, looks for Stevens. Stevens will settle it down, feeds Aldrich, Aldrich down to Nash. Nash to Stevens, shot, pops in the air, but luckily for Reinhardt, it popped out of the net, not into it. Nash to Stinson, Stinson. Leans on it to Doing, Doing. Flipping that one up into the air. Here's Nash, Nash, nice feed. Tries to get it all the way across. That's gonna come out of the zone. 40 seconds on the power play for the skippers. Nash holds it, loses it. Picking up with Stinson. Stinson will cross the line, he's going all the way. Stinson leans in, has got a shot. Goes for the wraparound one, timer! to Stevens. Goalie is now without a stick. This could be interesting. Now he reaches for it. Can he get it back in? And yes, he does. Shot on, and he makes a glove save. Nice play there by Reinhardt. off to the glove hand side. Oh, good save there by Reinhardt. Just right off the face off, quick snapper, and he was ready with the glove hand. Here comes Vanek back. Vanek takes the slap shot, low, pad save by Corona with 7.47 to go. In front, one-timer, good pass again by Vanek. He's got some great passing skills. Again, I sure he wasn't sure if his last name was Vanek or not. What a pass, he's had about four or five of them. Reminds me a little bit of Javon Moore when he played for Chaska Chan. The kid is just a magician. He could, he could see things behind his his head, he just makes all kinds of great plays. Still does, but got the same size. Burke off the stick. That would have been a clincher. Three goal lead, seven minutes to go. We got a penalty? 73, calling for where? For a slash, did not see that one. Yeah, it doesn't make sense why this puck isn't in the defensive zone on a penalty. There must be, the, Ryan, the head of officials, was very confident in his call. Mueller shot, save Corona.
Back to the point. Mueller to Pearl. Pearl with a shot. Corona grabs it. Breen in low in the corner. Back to Pearl. Leads it to Vanek. Vanek's got some space. Quick shot. Fires it. Now back the other way. Stevens. Zone entry. Tries to toe drag. He's poked off the puck. And Vanek enters a little early. He's frustrated. He knew. Just got caught up. Rims one around. Held in by Caden Bannock. Here's Dorf. Off the skates. Holding it in. Good battle there. Oh, good hustle. Here comes Hoffman. He beats his man. Tries to go backhand. He's hooked up a little bit. By Earl Beck. Now Bannock. Firing a wrist shot, wow. That was a laser. <laughs> Goes up, gets caught in the netting with three seconds to go on the wear penalty. Long shot, Crosby Rankin snipes one right over the glove of Corona just as Ware was coming onto the ice. And the fat lady is warming up. 6-3 in favor of the ponies. Can you say fat lady sings anymore? I mean, in this society, like, the opera singer is warming up. The female opera singer is warming up. There you go, the female opera singer. Rim it around, all the way out was Beldy. Fleming gets it in, covering it up is Corona. Shots 28-23. That is Crosby Rankin's fourth goal. His biggest goal of the tournament right there. Those game clinchers were huge doing. 5.20 to go. Game is coached by two former Grovers, Andy Brink, early 90s. Thomas Vanek, early 2000s. Good pass. Oof, Ness looking for another big goal. Doing intercepted by Fleming. Chasing it down is Breen. Next whistle. Next whistle. Steve Sensen chips it in. Vanek. 
Brings it through, poked off the puck, nice play. Hoffman blows a tire on the red line. Now Vanek wrestles down. Stinson, Burke after it. They keep battling. Nice play by O'Shea, shot. It's loose in front, Corona goes down, expecting a few shots. Doing will bring it out. Leighton Doing goes through his man. Good defensive play there. Really nice play by Earl Beck. Take away his space. Here he comes. Mr. Wonderful, Jack's door for the shot. Kid just makes a lot happen out there. Look at that. He just deked out three guys in two deeks. Dean Stevens gets it. Dangle, shot, goal. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. Are you kidding me? That was unbelievable. He actually started the whole play back down here in his own corner, deep through his own crease. Got it to doing, doing kind of Loses temporary possession. He goes in and just schools. That is a case of not being able to make body contact. But Dean Stevens surely took credit of it. Here comes Cooper Corona. Three minutes to go in the game. Down by two goals. Can they get another goal? Can they get another goal? And offsides, Hughes Fleming. That's big. They had a very, very good chance there of regaining the three goal lead with an empty net like that. Fleming back in the game. Eggert. Rims it to Aldrich. Aldrich to Stevens. Stevens leaves it for doing. And now Colton Nash. I put heavy money the next kid on is Ware. That one's coming out. That could be. Icy's getting away. That's not going to make it. Mass chaos here. Six skippers on the ice. Here's Aldrich. Long pass to Stevens. Ware. In the skates, Burke chases him. That's a battle I like to watch. Burke and S Ware. Now Stevens. Stevens holding on to it. Holding on to it. Feeds it through the crease. Oh! <laughs> Dewey shot it through the opposite side of the crease. How's the puck make it through the crease twice? Back door. Stevens shot. Save Bjornley. Bjornley tries to kill it out. Can't. Eggert. Minute 40 to go. Back door. That's a lot of sticks. They still have five skaters out there. A lot of sticks out there. And they're just defending nicely. Beldy. He won't clear it all the way out, but gets it to the hash. A lot safer there than in front of their net. Where? Head up, looking. Mine's doing. Can't control it. Fires it. That could go in. Just wide, hits the side of the net. That's icing with a minute 14 to go. Game is not over yet. Although, I did call an election yesterday with 39 <laughs> seconds to go, two goals, and they scored with 13 seconds. Who called that one? And they got a shot on goal with less than after the 13th second. Not a great shot, but still a shot on goal. And Andy Brink chooses to call timeout.
We're back live for the final minute 14. Stevens wins the draw. Back to Aldrich. Oh, good play by Vanek. Thomas Vanek telling his team to get up. Meaning don't make it easy to get into the zone. They got in, but just to the back door, Eggert at the point. 50 seconds to go now. Ewing going to battle with Beldy, gets it to Stevens. Stevens back to Aldrich. Aldrich, he'll walk it across. Shot, hits a, hits Nash in front after a deflection, and covering is Reinhardt. Down low, where battles. 30 to go in the game. Stillwater. This close to their first ever big pumpkin. This one fires. That's going to be icing with 20, 19 seconds to go. is back, shot on, kicked away. There's Stevens, he'll fire it. And the Stillwater Ponies, will this go in? It will go in with 2.4 seconds to go. I don't know who scored that one. Let's go Hugh Fleming maybe? No way, Dorf again? Is that the hat trick for Dorf? And that'll do it, congratulations.
And the final four of the alternate team and tournament most valuable player with a hat trick in today's championship comes Jax Dorf. is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. I think anytime you're beginning a season or beginning a new sport uh, where maybe you haven't been as well conditioned uh, as you know later in the season or near the end of the year, that's when you're going to be most prone to overuse types of injuries. That's going to be you know sprains and strains and tendonitis and stress fractures. And so I think it's most important to, to kind of slowly uh, ramp up into an activity and build your volume in a stepwise way instead of jumping.